Yeah. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mix, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Arthur! 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 Hello, friend. You? Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Well, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silent. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. You got any dynamite? This wall just needs some good forcing. Yes! Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on.
yourself, woman. Like I said, I need to see someone. Skinny! Get out here! Skinny! Skinny Micah is Norman. You always was a letdown, you fat sack of crap! Excuse me a minute, Arthur. something of mine. My guns. I showed him, and I'll show the rest of this town! You have really lost it this time. Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, we'll all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes... Brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back at Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah.
Hello there, pleased to see you. Clear this right up for you. Be seeing you. And that's true. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Menace. <laughs> you saved me, partner. Woo! I was almost a meal there. Good luck to you. Watch out for yellow eyes. I will, friend. I will. Morning, sir. Do you smoke, sir? Sure, but perhaps not as much as you. Oh, no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <coughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. The cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh, 
and the amount of money? <laughs> a veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here? Circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, of course. Yeah. But, you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. You'd pay me. A fair price. Now, you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Randall, at your service. I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. Hi there. <laughs> I ain't gonna hurt you. Okay. Come on, boy. Just don't understand this at all. Hey, over here. What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. No, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. 
I have spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of $10. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Ah, uh, what the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. Easy now. Survival of the fittest. Oh, it's you, <clears throat> sir. I hope you're not here to cause more <coughs> trouble. I hear poor Tommy is in quite a bad way. I hope you don't harbor a grudge against me. 
Welcome Please to you and your horse. Generous. Got some stable space for be rent generous. if you're interested. Help people. Try to do what you can. I gotta pay you a little less because of the missing paperwork, okay? Take care. Your horses are safe. Use your <coughs> Use your back. strength to Battle help the, the weak. Ain't no other outfit beats their prices. Enjoy. That's mighty popular these days. Taking a shine to that, huh? Feller was telling me the daughter at Emerald Ranch don't leave the house no more. Been locked in up there for a couple years now. Old Miss Hardshaw, the seamstress, passed away. Don't know who's gonna mend my things now. Thank you. I'll let you look around some more. Thank you. Really? Howdy, sir. Skins Don't think I've seen this. you around here before. I tell you. So, what do we do? Well, we my family freeze to death in the winter of 72. If I'd known. Known about it, you wretches. I've taken shifts with more spine than you, barber boy. What a lovely man you are. Looking mighty fine. Ah, 
You ain't worth two shits, whole damn lot of you. Ain't worth one tree, uh, one buffalo, one redskin. I shot 19 of them once. Well, buffalo, not redskins. Don't know how many redskins are killed, but they deserved it. They weren't Christians, so I sent them to hell. They should have thanked Paul me. never did a better job himself, I reckon. All you fools should thank me. Okay, that about wraps things up. Hey there. What do you want? Thanks, mister. Hey, no wild west no more around Let's here. Let's go, boy. See, nothing. Nice. More How's it going? Hey, partner. You've been the cause of enough sorrow around here. You gonna say my trick is really good, huh? Well, look at here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. But I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that. Until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive, I got it. OK, boy. Easy, easy. Come on, follow me. Oh, what we got? 
got here? You Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard, uh, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh! Well, if that's the case... If it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> what? Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... This is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Don't try. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Oh, you saved me. Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life. Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump! Uh, or, or what? You can't shoot me! No. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here! Uh, bye, friend! I really do not like you. Ha!
seem to keep blacking out. Just passing, all right? Oh. Sir, this isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Why, who made you judge? More and that's oh my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was uh was just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. But I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sir, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Uh, please, remember what I told you. trouble from you. You hear? Hi, mister. How I'll take a paper, please. Well, hello there. Well, Careful, see you for the Pete. next one. Read all about it in the Gazette, folks. Hey, you there. Can I have a word? Greetings. Now, this little crow don't look like one of ours, does he, boys? I didn't know better. I think you boys might be looking to scare some old ladies out of their chains. You're done! There's a mess in the Odriscoll's! No! 